Hey folks, Ariel over here with a video of a bull moose today. This guy will have big racks later in the year. His antlers have fallen off as they do for all the moose every single year, usually sometime in January from the year before. And those swelling buds you can see on the side of his head are the start of big antlers growing out for this year. Very soon those will burst out into actually looking more like an antler instead of just a big round ball bud. But uh, it's pretty cool to see them at this time of year as winter's kind of winding down and what they look like at this stage when they don't have any antlers. Anyway, the video is just pretty much him browsing in this area on brush. And then as you can see, he's got a magpie friend. That is the little black and white and iridescent blue-green bird. They're excellent scavengers, excellent cleanup crews, along with ravens and vultures and eagles and such on carcasses, but they also like to eat a lot of bugs. And one of the biggest problems that moose have, in our area at least, in the uh, spring is that they tend to get eaten sometimes literally to death by ticks. There's a, a moose tick that just explodes uh, in population as the weather warms. And I know researchers have found moose and counted the ticks on them. And it's in the, I think, sometimes tens of thousands. Uh, and they'll actually bleed them to death if they get that many. So anyway, I'm pretty sure what the magpie is doing is eating fat little ticks off of the moose's hide, which obviously is very helpful to the moose because then they are no longer sucking blood. It makes the magpie very happy, presumably, because then it's got a full stomach. So anyway, it was just fun to watch him browse through this uh, sagebrush field below the snow-covered peaks and watch the, the magpie helping him out. I thought you all might enjoy it as well.
folks, Ariel over here. I have always been fascinated about how a camera it works almost like a time machine, giving me the ability to share with you little glimpses of wildlife and nature that I'm surrounded by that many folks will never get a chance to see in person. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're interested in checking out more of my photography or getting your own prints, canvases, aluminum art for your own walls, check out the links below. Have a lovely day.